Never Stop Learning, week 155. I'm gonna take a quick look at the Live Shapes feature available in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014. So for you Creative Cloud users, if you just come over here to the Tools panel, I'm gonna click and hold and then tear out this menu here. Now I have a floating panel and right here you have the different primitive shapes you're used to working with. So I wanna make sure I have my rectangle tool activated. You could also hit the M key on your keyboard to activate it. So I'm gonna click and drag to draw this guy out and once I release, you see I have this transform panel that pops out. Well, this part up here looks pretty normal, but then right here in the middle section, now we have rectangle properties. So right here you could affect the rectangle width, the height, you could actually unconstrain the width and height proportions. Right here you have the option of changing the rectangle angle, and over here you could change the different corner types. So before I get into this panel, I'm gonna show you how you can do everything manually using your mouse. So if I were to come over here, one of the things I actually like doing with this a lot is with this very same tool. You could click and drag in the corner and that will allow you to resize your shape. So the previous behavior would have been, uh, it would have actually redrawn a rectangle. It would have just drawn out a new one for me, but now it's actually affecting the scaling for it. And if you look over here in the, in the panel, you see it's all being updated over here. If I come over here to the corner and you see my cursor changes up a bit, if I click and drag, that's actually gonna change the rectangle angle and if I come back over here, I could set this back to zero. So I like that it actually keeps track of everything over here for me. So I'll click and drag on this annotation here, and that allows me to create rounded corners on all of my corners. If I grab this annotation here, by holding down the option key first, you see it actually swaps through the different corners. So I'm holding down the option key and then clicking on it, and it's allowing me to swap through the different corner types. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this. And if you wanted to move things around, just hold down the command or control key, click and drag in the center point, and that'll allow you to move your shape. All right, so if you come over here in the rectangle properties, uh, you could actually affect both the height and the width at the same time. Or if you unlink this chain here, you could just affect one of them at a time. Over here, this is where it's gonna affect the rotation of your rectangle. I'm gonna leave mine set to zero. And then again, over here, this is where we have the different corner types. So in here, I'm gonna change the value up a bit. Let's see, about 100 looks good to me. And uh, now I want this bottom right corner to match up. Since I already know I want 100 pixels, I just enter in 100 pixels, and you see everything matches up. Now this is the look I'm going for, this looks great, uh, but I'm gonna show you a couple little changes we could make. So you already know we could change the corner types, you could also change them here in the panel. So if I click on this drop down menu, I could get this inverted round corner, I get these chamfered corners here, and again, this is where you would want to affect each one of your corners individually. So here we go. We could enter in a new value here. And you see it's updated over here on my artwork. All right, I hit enter to accept that and then just get rid of this shape. So I'm going to come over here back to this little section here and activate my rounded rectangle tool. I'll click and drag to draw out a shape. And you see I have the rectangle properties here, just like we talked about for the rectangle tool. So I'll get rid of this one. And if we switch over to the ellipse tool, you see we do not have any uh, life shape properties. Same for the polygon tool. And if I switch over to the star tool, it's the same story for this one as well. But I think we're gonna see these guys come alive in the, uh, in the versions of Illustrator to come. All right, so for now, if you'd like, you could actually purchase a plugin from Astute Graphics called Vectorscribe. And in there, they have what's called uh, dynamic shapes. So with these dynamic shapes, you could actually have those same uh, live or dynamic attributes uh, for all your different types of shapes here. So check this out. I'm able to bring in some roundings and then uh, I could actually still introduce some more points here. I have uh, the ability to change everything manually in here or if I wanted to do it in this panel, I could enter it like we talked about before with the live rectangle. And there you have it folks. That's the live shapes feature available in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014.